Welcome back to my YouTube channel Rapid Data Tracks. I hope you all are doing well. So I know this video has been highly requested and yes, today I am finally here to talk about how I cracked Microsoft. So many of you have reached out to me asking me preparation journeys, strategies I followed and tips for the success. So in this video, I am going to walk you through everything right from how I planned my preparation to the key steps that helped me to land the offer. I'll also be answering some of the most common questions that you have sent in and clearing up all your doubts that you may have. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with DSA. One of the most frequently asked questions that I have received. So DSA is really needed for data engineers? Yes, absolutely it is needed. Many of the people have asked me saying, why DSA for data engineering? Code. But here is how I see it. DSA is not just about writing the code, it is about problem solving. Interviewers are not only looking for your code and checking whether it runs or not, but they are very keen to understand how you break down the problem, how you analyze it and what approach you take to reach the solution. So that reflects your problem solving mindset and it is one of the key filtering grounds in many of the product based companies. So now the next question is to what extent you should prepare to crack any of the product based companies I would suggest to focus on arrays, strings and linked lists from data structure side, searching, sorting and two pointers from the algorithm side. You don't have to master every advanced topic but solving the problem till medium level should be a solid target for you. And if you are wondering where to begin, my personal recommendation is Strivers A to Z sheet. He, there, he has explained every code step by step and it is one of the best resources out there. So just aim to solve at least one code a day and also I have dropped the link in the description. Please check it out. So this is your roadmap for DSA as a data engineer. So next up is SQL. Trust me, this is super important. As a data engineer, you are going to work with data on every single day and SQL becomes your core tool. So it's absolutely essential to master it well. Focus especially on these three areas, window functions, joins and CTEs. These concepts are frequently tested in interviews and used heavily in real world scenarios. Now when it comes to solving SQL problems, don't just directly jump onto writing the queries. First understand the problem, break it down logically and then try to build your query step by step. For practice, I highly recommend the Lead Code 50 challenge which is absolutely free and it's a great way to get comfortable with the core concepts like case statements, subqueries, filtering and aggregations etc. And here is one more tip, you can also use ChatGPT to practice around 50 real time interview questions especially around window functions and joins. For even more company specific questions, do check out Ankit Bansal's Namaste SQL YouTube channel. His explanations are very clear and interview focused. All the helpful links are mentioned in the description below so don't forget to check them out. Okay. Up next skill is PySpark that is absolutely mandatory for each data engineering interview. This is something that shows up in almost every interview round and especially for roles in big data environments. So your first focus should be translating SQL queries into a PySpark code. That's a very common expectation so get comfortable with data frame syntax and operations. But don't stop here optimization is a key. Deep dive into the topics like caching, partitioning, bucketing, skew handling, etc. And the important part is don't just memorize what these terms mean. Instead, focus on understanding what do they actually do, how do they improve the performance, where they are used in real-time environments. Understanding the why and how behind the concept is what truly sets you apart. 
అండ్ ఫ్రామ్ అన్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ బీ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఫర్ సినారియో బేస్డ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ యూ విల్ బీ ఆఫన్ పుట్ ఇన్ టు అ రియల్ టైమ్ సినారియో అండ్ ఆస్క్డ్ హౌ యూ వుడ్ కమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ సొల్యూషన్ ఫర్ దాట్ సో ఆల్వేస్ థింక్ ఫ్రామ్ అ బ్రాడర్ యాంగిల్ వైల్ ఆన్సరింగ్ వేర్ యువర్ సొల్యూషన్ would be scalable efficient and clean so if you are really serious about pyspark focus on real world application and performance tuning not with just basic syntax hope you got a clear understanding on how to prepare for pyspark as well okay let's talk about cloud now whether it's azure aws or gcp now here is the truth it doesn't really matter on which cloud platform are you currently working on because the core concept remains the same only the tools and services names might differ from one platform to another this round is often aligned with your pipark or pipeline rounds from where you are expected to show a solid understanding of cloud based architecture one area to give a little extra attention is your data migration from on premise to the cloud this is a common real time in challenge and the interviewers would love to hear your thoughts on how you will handle it most importantly in cloud rounds don't just give one line answers instead walk them through the entire end to end solution for example how does the pipeline starts what tools or services you will be using how do you handle failures or debugging how do you make sure it is scalable and reliable etc and interviewers also want to test whether you have really worked on these things or not so you must be ready to talk about real time issues debugging strategies and how you build the successful pipelines from the scratch so this round is all about your practical exposure not theoretical knowledge be confident and share your experience like a story okay now coming to one of the most crucial rounds that is system design but as a data engineer i prefer to call it as data modeling this round is all about how well can you design a system that works in real time environment so what should you focus on so start by building a strong foundations on key key concepts like facts and dimensions star schema snowflake schema slowly changing dimensions etc but don't stop at the theory create your own system designs so how do you create your own system so start with the system that you use on the daily basis and create your own requirements so how you create your own requirements let's take amazon what is the most sold product in each region which product has the lowest rating overall what happens to the refund flow when an order is cancelled so these type of analyzers help the business to improve and grow so basically while designing any system make sure you will focus more on crud operation that is you will think about how the data is created read updated and deleted so this will help you to build a system that is not only analyzable but also practical for real time use cases now design a data model that could answer these questions so the more you practice such models the better understanding you will be getting it so if you feel difficult to do it on your own please make use of chat gpt here so it will create a data model for you and just analyze and try to do the next one by your own i would suggest you to create at least four to five system across different domains like e-commerce travel entertainment etc so this will give you a well rounded view and boost your confidence during the interviews and yes if possible i will try to create a separate video and designing one full system uh, end to end maybe so stay tuned for it okay so far we have talked about technical things and how to prepare for them but trust me there is one more area which is equally important so let's start with communication this is your only bridge to make your interviewer understand your thoughts ideas and problem solving approach so here are few key tips 
keep it very clear and simple you don't have to use any fancy vocabulary just speak in simple english and focus more on clarity rather than complexity next is confidence that matters a lot even if you know everything but if you sound unsure or nervous it can impact your performance so if you feel panic at any time take a deep breath pause for few seconds sip some water and then continue it is completely okay and make sure your answers are structured and not scattered when you follow a logical flow it becomes so much easier for the interviewer to grasp your solution but if your thoughts are all over the place then even the correct answer might not come across properly so please make sure answers are structured and also practice using proper filters avoid using um, uh, this that no a complete no for this please make use of proper filters and words like let me explain step by step uh, here is how i approach to this problem or uh, to summarize what i said so these kind of phrases will keep your answer polished and to the point and finally practice speaking loud at your home so this will help you to build the pace and clarity you do, you don't need to sound robotic but be very natural confident and well structured with your answers okay let's move on to something that's often overlooked but it is extremely powerful that is networking platforms like linkedin are gold mines when it comes to connecting with like minded professionals in your field so when you start connecting with people especially data engineers you will start seeing posts about uh, job openings interview preparations company specific tips how they crack a specific interview etc and without even realizing it you will start learning and understanding the current trends and where you stand in your preparation you can also save this post and do a quick revision when your interview is just around the corner and trust me this helps a lot and another tip check the dog job description carefully because sometimes the hiring manager or recruiter's contact will be mentioned don't hesitate to reach out and personally share your resume this takes you one step ahead among hundreds of applications and also once the interview is scheduled try to connect with someone who is already working in that organization ask them about how is the interview process what kind of questions to expect what are the expectations or is the difficulty level etc this will help you to prepare more smartly and you will be more confident enough as well so yes networking is not just about sending request it's about learning preparing and positioning yourself better i hope you will actively follow these steps more in forward okay next is cold mails here is the reality I have seen so many people just dropping a message like can you refer me to your company let me ask you do you think someone will really sit down go through your profile look for an opening then refer you without knowing anything about you absolutely not even i will not do that thing so please avoid these generic messages instead put in some effort draft a message that includes a short introduction about yourself and your experience key skills the exact job id and role you are interested in and most importantly your updated cv make this message meaningful show your interest in the organization and why you think you are really a good fit for it and this shows you have done your homework and it builds a genuine connection before reaching out just visit the company's career page once search for the relevant role grab the job id then send a well framed message or email this one step can dramatically improve your all chances of getting the referral for you so try it out you will definitely see the differences okay now let's talk about one more amazing platform 
हम दैट इज गेन इन पॉपुलरिटी दैट इज स्टॉक में इट्स अ फेंटास्टिक वे टू कनेक्ट विथ एक्सपीरियंस प्रोफेशनल लर्न फ्रॉम दर जर्नीज एंड गेट पर्सनलाइज सजेशन ऑन हाउ टू अप्रोच या इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन सो वन ऑफ द बेस्ट थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू ऑन टॉक मेट इज टू गेन क्लैरिटी अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर रोल वॉट द एक्सपेक्टेशन आर वॉट आर द एरियाज यू हैव टू फोकस एंड हाउ टू प्रिपेयर स्मार्टली इफ यू आर लकी इनफ सम मेंटर्स इवन शेयर सम सिमिलर क्वेश्चन दे हैव फेस ड्यूरिंग इंटरव्यूज एंड दे विल गिव यू इंसाइट्स ऑन हाउ दे टैकल दैम सो you will also discover a gold mine of resources from curated documents such as interview question banks too detailed topic wise preparation list etc and topmate offers several flexible options like one to one calls referral programs direct messaging likewise so depending on what you need be it interview guidance profile review referral support you can book a session accordingly and many people also share documents they have personally created like real time sql interview questions five spark sheet sheet recommended source list etc so make the most use of this platform use it wisely it will truly accelerate your preparation journey when used with right intent okay one last step before we wrap up that is mock interviews these can make a huge difference in building your confidence before actual interviews here why it is important even if you feel technically ready when you face real time interviews there are always a chances of getting a failure and the tough part is most companies will never tell you why they rejected you so identifying your gaps becomes really difficult so that's where mock interviews comes in they give you a safe space to practice to get evaluated and receive feedback as well so unlike ai or online test mocks are conversation based and with real time questions tailored according to your experience so you will definitely identify where you are falling short and understand what you have to improve and you will get a personalized feedback and most importantly it will boost your confidence level so when a similar question pops up in a real time interview imagine you have already faced it and you are ready for it so now you can handle it very smoothly so treat mock interviews like rehearsals they truly help you to fine tune your performance before the final show begins Yeah and that brings us to the end of this video I really hope these insights will help you in your journey and take you closer to achieve the great heights in your career and all the very very best I hope you have got this and you will stay consistent and focused and don't forget to like share and subscribe to rapid data track to show up for more such valuable content and stay tuned lots of exciting videos coming your way bye bye take care